Hey yo guys, what's up? It's me, Fangbanger. In this video, I'm gonna be bringing you another FIFA 13 Ultimate Team Road to Shamazing. Now this is a Road to Glory type series, so if you haven't seen any of the other episodes from it, don't worry, I'll catch you up. I am in Division 2, I'm in the very last game of Division 2, um, and I have to either get a draw or I have to get a victory to even go on to Division 1. I did not win the Division 2 title, unfortunately, but I've won the title in every other division, so it might not be such a bad thing if I end up losing maybe my first match and then I go back in Division 2 because then I have a chance to win the title. Anyway, if you guys are interested in checking out any FIFA 13 Ultimate Team coins, go to fifacointrader.com. They're a very fast service because they have an automated delivery system, so you get the coins instantly. I have some links in the description below. Anyway, so going into this match, it's kind of like a do or die situation for me. And I decided that I was going to have to put everything I have into this, and I have to win. As you can see, I won my last game, five to nil. And I'm gonna put Devayo up as the striker. I know I have a team in the season, Dana Tali, but I wanna try him out because I'm borrowing these players, so I won't get to keep them for very long. Probably wasn't the best choice for me to make, unfortunately. Going up against Stained Cloud, 2-5-1 in my very first match. I'm pretty excited about this. I have a feeling that I'm going to win. Let's go ahead and take a look at the team that he's going to end up using now. And that's a little iffy. Whenever I see those bars drop down to yellow bars, I think, wow, that's going to be kind of an iffy game. But here we go. And look at, oh my gosh, totally forgot even what this team looked like. It's a 4-3-3 German squad. It's pretty ridiculous. I think the squads for these are really overpowered. I don't even like playing against them. I don't know. It's just not my thing. I know I have my own team, but it's a Bundesliga team, so it's kind of a mixture. Um, but I should be able to beat a 4-3-3, at least you'd think so. But the game starts out with him getting this shot on goal. I don't know what happened to my defense. s is obviously way overrated. We know that for him for every piece of this game. So he goes up. It's 1-0. He tried to do the fangbanger backflip, but it looked like a fangbanger somersault or something. I don't even know. And we go into the half, and he's pretty much dominating me when it comes to possession. He was holding the ball so much, but I had so many shots on goal. I had seven on goal, four on target. I don't want to have to show that all to you or to make this video all so long, but I was like, this day was it one of those days, kind of like the last couple days, I just had bad times editing, bad times everything. Look at that. For one, I was like, there's no way. I was in the chat, and I was like, Mueller can't even like be that fast. And they're like, well, which one is it? And I was like, it's his regular card. And right after I said that, he scored that goal, and I was just like, Phew. I had to put in Dina Tolle as team this season. I thought that it would do something for me, and it did help me a little bit. I got lucky here. I got wide open with him, and I got a nice shot on goal. I have no idea how I wasn't off because I felt like I was, and I gave him a little backflip back, did a little muscle pump. Unfortunately, though, I lost the game, and guess what, guys? We're going through Division 2 again. Now, y'all should be excited about this because that means that this series is going to be longer, right? And then we have a chance to win the Division 2 title. Let's see exactly... How that goes right there. I'm one point off, by the way. One point. Let's see exactly how that goes, though. We keep the same lineup, although we are able to put Ogbona in. I had Bonucci in because Ogbona had a red card. So I went and I had to buy another center back, and I couldn't pick up Chiellini because I didn't have the coins. I need to at some point. It's going to happen. Uh, but I've definitely got to look into picking up Chiellini. Although I have this team of the season, Bichetti, and Ogbona is a really good player, too. Um, but go into this match, and this is our first one of Division 2. We're starting over. We've already lost one for the day. How is this going to pan out? We're about to see exactly how it happens. He's picking the red kits. I'm picking the black kits. He changes to the blue kits. Let's see this team. Check it out. My god. My god. Like, everybody I come up now against in Division 2 is like these freaking crazy teams. He's doing a 4-3-3 as well. I'm doing a 4-3-3. He scores the first goal with David Villa. Oh my god. David Villa. However you want to say it. Ridiculous. That was a really good goal, though. That was just me playing really poor defense. And right here, oh my god, for one. Okay, I know I, I did get a penalty here. I did get a penalty, but let's go ahead and take a look at what happens after I get that penalty. So I line up with my keeper, and for me, the whole time, I'm like, okay, I'm going to jump to the right. At least my right when I'm looking at it. I'm going to go to the right. Go to the right. He would be jumping to his left. And I do go to the right, and then look! How does that happen? I might have jumped a little too late. I don't think that's the case, though. I think that FIFA was just really wanting to piss me off. Benzema, he's not all, like, excited. Like, he did something really awesome there when he absolutely did nothing that good at all. He just got really lucky. I jumped the way that he went. I guessed what he was going to do, and it still didn't turn out okay for me. That really frustrates me, and this is not a good start to Division 2. This is not a good start to Division 2. I end up losing the game 2-0. I couldn't do anything. 
I had so many freaking opportunities in that game and I couldn't do a damn thing and it's really frustrating to lose but it's also frustrating to not score a goal. So I am at this point, I'm livid. This happened in the last episode. What's going on right now? I think it's just like, I need to take a break. Coming up like next week, I'm gonna be going to my like other side of Texas and Fort Worth and Dallas and I'm gonna spend the 4th of July and hopefully that makes me better. I came up against this team, this team next by the way. It's got Aguero, it's got freaking some team of the season players, it's got Rooney, oh my god, Robin, Neymar, like what the hell? How did he even get this chemistry the way he did? I knew at this point, I might lose three games in a row. And that would be the most frustrating thing I could ever possibly do. We go through the whole first half though, and nobody scores. It's like a 50-50 match. We both have 100% shock accuracy, our accuracy. Everything looks almost exactly the same, but I end up getting the first goal of the game. And once I get the first goal of the game, that usually means I win the game. Because that's what happens. I sit there and I play like really crappy, like stupid defense, and I don't let them get the ball back. And especially in this one, because I wasn't about to put a freaking episode up of my series and lose three games in a row. Never done it before, never gonna do it. I say that though, and right here, that was a slide tackle, okay? My body happened to just be laying on the ground and he decided to run over me. That is not my choice. That is not a freaking penalty. Anyway though, this time, I do the exact same jump, and let's see if it goes over me this time. Come on, FIFA, let's see if you're in his corner this time. I think he uses Rooney to take this too, and I say, uh-uh, not on my goal, biatch. So yeah, I end up winning this game one to nil. I win my first game in Division Two for the second time around, and that is awesome because that puts me one step closer to the Division Two title, which is what I'm working for. I gotta take a break or something, I don't know, maybe like a couple days and cool off, but I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna be bringing you more of this next week, probably at the beginning of next week for Road to Schmazing. Look for maybe a pack opening video tomorrow, maybe a Building Bill Compton Pro Club series video. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do just yet. Thanks for watching this video though, and if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to me if you haven't already. We've got giveaways that'll be coming in the next couple of weeks. And until next time, get bang bang nerds.